M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Bofeng UV32. Let's add a repeater, GB3 Bravo Charlie. You want to get yourself into channel mode first by just holding down the home button. So that's VFO, you can type frequencies. But when, you, when you're in channel mode, you can only change channels, okay? Oh, it's already picking up the repeater there, very strong. So we're in channel mode. Let's go to a different channel so we can start from scratch. So channel six, and then we're going to go menu and go down to settings and then channel set. And the first thing I always do is go down to channel type, channel type and then select and just choose analog. Okay, this is because this, this radio will do DMR, but this is the DM32. So then we go back into settings and go to channel set and the receive frequency, we delete one, four, five, then 750, it puts in the dot for you, click OK, that's receive. Transmit, select, uh, again delete, and it's 145150, click OK. TX power, leave it on high for now. CTCSS, select, transmit CTCSS is top. Select and go down to CTCSS, select. Then go down and select your tone because you need this to open the repeater, 94.8. Select. Sets that. Then you can go back. Back again. Channel type, we did that. We chose analog. Channel name, let's go in there and then we'll just delete back. And just to be quick, I'm going to call it Bravo. Charlie. Okay. Now remember, you can change from numbers and capitals with the hash, but I'm just going to call it, or just called. There you are. Bravo, Charlie. Okay. So that's just going to change the the existing channel. You can click new channel, but if I go back now, look, Bravo, Charlie. Let's give a call. M zero FXB calling for a contact. And there it is, that's your channel. And the DMR way of doing it is when you go in, you go menu and go to settings, channel set, then go to channel type and choose digital. So exactly the same, you have to be in memory mode. <clears throat> and then this time you would go menu and let's just imagine that Bravo Charlie is digital. You would go to talk group, you can create the contacts there. So you go select and create a contact number, let's say 80. Okay, select and then give it a name. We're just going to call it AA for now. Okay, but that's how you create a contact. If you want, and it needs to be a public contact by pressing heart hash, you don't want it to be a, you don't want it to be a private contact, you want it to be a group contact. And you select that with the hash thing, but it's just asking for the name now. So just go like that. Saving. Um, you can manual dial, but that's, we'll do that in another video. Uh, so back to settings. And then because it's digital, this time you've got the same receive and transmit and power, but you need to select color code number. So on my repeater, it's number one. Time slot. Slot one or two. Check with your, you know, check with your local repeater. DMR ID, you select, put in your DMR ID by just selecting and typing that. Back out, and then the channel type we did, we, we that, that would be digital for a DMR one. Ignore double slot. And then here you could put the name in so you recognize it. So that's how you do a DMR one. But I hope, hope this helps you put some memory channels into your UV32, whether it's the DMR or the analog version. I think it's a lovely looking set and the way you can customize all the colors, uh, you just go into settings and you can change all that menu, settings, and then you go down to radio set and display. And look, you can start changing all the colors. That's very cool, I think. And, and this one has got GPS and APRS DMR. And yeah, I tried airband. If we go into VFO mode a minute, this is my airband and I'll tell you, it works very well on airband and the scan speed is, I thought was quite good as well. Menu, scan, you know, for a cheap radio, it's now scanning. I think that's quite a good speed. 
And it's actually a great looking radio. When I first got it, that's the mayor band there. When I first got it, or when I ordered it, I thought it was a bit big. The speaker's on the back, chunky battery, USB C charging, twin pin connector on the side, function buttons, big PTT, and nice proper buttons, you know, with an LED as well that can be a torch as well. When I ordered, I thought, oh, it was a bit ugly. But when I got it and I'm sat here using it, I remember thinking, wow, you know, it looks really good. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.